Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're gonna to be working on our chest and we're gonna do a quick and effective workout so you can get in and out of the gym in 45 minutes to an hour. This is gonna be a nice one. It's gonna be really high intensity. So really honestly, if you're new to this, take it easy with everything that we're doing in this workout. Don't go too crazy with it and modify it to your own liking so that you can actually perform this. As you see, we're starting off with two warm ups, nothing crazy, just the bar and then a 25. We're doing two sets, eight reps. I'm not gonna show all eight reps because I don't wanna waste either of our times doing that. But as you see, I'm taking a really slow descent, really making sure I really feel the muscle squeeze, like contracting or contracting eccentrically, aka spreading out, coming downward. And I feel my muscle really taking the pressure from it and then squeezing really hard on the way back up. Honestly, too, what you're going to notice is my shoulders are dug into the chair and my butt is placed on the upper portion. What I'm doing is I'm creating a thoracic extension in my back, as I mentioned before in my mobility video. If you do this thoracic extension and you don't push through and pinch your lumbar, you'll be fine. But for those dudes that are arching really heavy through your lumbar, I'm sorry, you're gonna hurt something. Now what you can see here is I'm coming nice and slow down, taking a brief pause at the bottom and then squeezing it up. I'm not driving it up really fast. I'm not trying to just push weight. I'm really focusing on getting the contraction going. However, I'm pretty weak with my bench. I'll be admitting that. And I stay around 135 for incline. However, my, my, my flat's pretty good, but whatever it's something i gotta work on haven't really cared to until just recently so here it is next we're going to be doing some dumbbell presses the only difference with this one is we're going to be doing alternating so as you see here one dumbbell is going to stay up and the other dumbbell is going to come down so i'm going to be working one pack at a time just for that sake for for both for, bleh, for both cardiovascular and for muscular development i'm going to be doing six reps on each side which is going to equate to 12 total now you might be like why are you only doing that many like i said i'm not going for volume i'm going more for a good squeeze i'm getting good for good contraction keeping my form and making sure my stability is on point now this is going to really help for those people that have trouble with a regular dumbbell press if you can slowly control this with one hand on each side, I can promise you your dumbbell press will go up, your incline bench will go up, all that jazz will go up because this has been one savior for my shoulder area and one savior for my whole entire pec, just in the stabilization factor. Not to, not to mention how much power you're exerting when you're constantly holding tension on your chest the way that I am when I'm holding the weight up singly. Now lastly guys, we're just going to finish it off strong with some weighted dips. I did chest a couple days ago, so I'm not going too heavy. I normally do 45, but I put 25 pounds underneath me and we're going for another eight, um, eight reps. Everything we're doing is four sets. We're doing eight reps on both the incline bench and also the weighted dip. And then the mid one is just going to be the six reps. So I hope you enjoy the workout guys. As always, take it easy.